Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Jeroen Hopp. I'm author of the Clapham Property Blog. I thought I'd do a live video series uh, to show you how you can add some value to your rental property. So uh, today what I want to discuss was curb appeal because um, a lot of landlords they lack the sort of curb appeal with uh, with their property. A lot of times, I mean, I've, I've been an estate agent for over 15 years before I hung up my agency boots and uh, the one thing that kept coming back was the curb appeal that was missing. So you walk up to the property and it looks absolutely drab and a lot of landlords, they spend a lot of time uh, going to the inside of the property, refurbishing it, spending all the money in the world there, um, but they completely forget about the whole walk up to the front door. So front garden would be overgrown, the fence would be falling down. And in fact, I was reminded of this the other day because I've got a, uh, a house in Brixton coming up and, and indeed the front wall is falling down. So I'm actually getting someone to uh, to do a nice brick wall for me there with some wrought iron gates and all that sort of thing. And and a lot of people think, um, what, why are you spending that money? And um, oftentimes, uh, I'll, I'll agree, I do spend a lot of money on my property, but um, it just goes to show, uh, oh, Craig's joined me live here. Hi, Craig, how you doing? Uh, see, Daniel's tuned in as well. That's good, eh, Daniel? You well? Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I, I see a lot of times that, that landlords don't spend enough, and uh, and, and I'm, I'm very guilty of spending too much on my property. I, I probably get a bit too emotionally attached, but um, I think to some extent that's a good thing because a lot of landlords, they, um, they lose the passion in property. Sorry, the dogs just decided to, to dig up whatever. Is it? Move, Mogul, go away. Um, so a, a lot of landlords, they lose the sort of passion with property and they see it as uh, as just sort of a rental investment. They look at the numbers and, and they, they forget about the love. And, and there's a lot of love in property, uh, I think at least. And I, I do it obviously partially to make money. Um, but I like treating the tenants well. I like making sure that there's good quality accommodation there. Um, you know, you read about all these silly stories about um, landlords with beds and sheds and all that sort of silly business. Um, but that's not me. I do it. I, I do it because I love property, I love people, um, but coming back to the original topic, curb appeal. So when you walk up to the property, make sure that your property stands out from the crowd. So when you look at the whole row of houses or flats or whatever it is, just make sure that the front door is nice. Um, I always go for like a, a, a light green, not a sage, but like a light olivey color green door. Uh, green in marketing terms is, is a go, obviously, avoid the red door. Google the story, it's it's amazing how much a red door will, will decrease the price of the property. It, it sounds silly, um, but it's it's true. It's actually really true. Um, so green front door, a nice fence or uh, some brickwork or what have you. Just make sure that it's clean and tidy. The front garden swept, weeded, and it just looks very presentable. You know, you can do the same with the, uh, the front windows. Make sure they're painted. Make sure everything looks uh, lickety split. So when tenants are left outside waiting, because invariably they're going to turn up uh, sooner than the agents at one point, they're looking outside the property and they think, hey, I want to go in here. I, I want to live here. You know, if they're standing outside and they think, blimey, this is a dump, then they're, they're not going to want to go in. So make sure that your property looks lickety split before they even walk through the door. You know, pictures are the most important thing. What's going to be in the agency adverts on Right Move and Zoopla? It's going to be a picture of the outside, isn't it? Make sure that the outside looks top notch. Um, so that was my tip for today. Um, as we were saying earlier, this is part of a 30 day video series. Uh, so this is day number one, curb appeal. So tune in tomorrow for another uh, landlord buy to let tip and, uh, and hopefully you'll find this series useful. So over and out, see you next time.